your hand. Okay. So now, we won't really go over this, guys, because you'll have some problems. He blocks the mounds, but we're old school by putting a switch to his knee. Just realize, shoulder adjust this, turn his hips away from you. Not only can I play with this stuff, I might even tap him with this stuff where he kicks legs straight on my mouth. Go back. But sometimes, I pull this up, I might even pull off this insert. Look at it. It's called healing back and wrestling. Heel back, heel back. Oh, now I got it. Under hook, those in head and arm, passers over his head. Why are you tapping? Hip lock. Yeah. It's here and here. You think you'll never get it? That's just one entry. I have eight entries into it. You know how to follow up wrestling. You start seeing things three dimensionally. And I, I can't I've done, I mean, I get it on some people. You can get it from double under pass. You, I can't with eight entries. This is just one. Also, this is what Daniel Cormier calls Kesey position. When he's commentating, oh, he's in Kesey. This happens off takedown sometimes. You can't really position better because it's just a great ground point position. Okay. Okay. So there's a hip lock. Yeah, it's quickly, mostly for an MMA fighter. Boy, I wish I had a Um, Let's go over how often if you're heavy on a gun, hitting a gun, or just heavy and grappling, I can see grip this elbow and staple them over for basic crucifix. This is not my favorite crucifix, but this is crucifix that you can flow into often. You might go Kazura Casey, Casey, pull, Casey, pulling up on this and hitting him. Boom, 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 boom. Do you know, do you use this one? Yeah. Before you start doing fast ones, do spring pressure, Jeremy Born style. Okay, rear elbow to the, don't hit the back of the head, hit the ear. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Ding, ding, ding. Always try to go heavy, 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 fast, fast, fast. Do heavy blows before fast ones. Heavy blows gets the referee going, uh-oh, and fast ones make them Oh, yeah, keep, keep, so, so you go heavy, heavy, fast, fast, fast. Heavy, heavy, fast, fast, fast. So do heavy blows first. Don't just go when you're tired. Ding, 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 ding. If they be cut, they're all weak ones. You won't stop it. Get some massage. Okay. Better crucifix. Over, grab wrist, mm. suck up. Triangle. If you feel your own bounce, you can always post on your head. This is where the Nunes or Shinchenko just finished something for me. Okay? Boom! Boom! Don't just do baby punches. Remember, this is free as body twist. Your arms are going to be gassed at the end of a third round. But I can body twist. Bum, 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 bum. Okay? Sometimes you can even pat still get people just locking down with a simple throat choke. If you know how to put your body in. Everyone's gone away, all oh, that ain't jujitsu. Like, you should be able to defend it. And if you don't, it's kind of your problem. Yeah. I even made this one up again, one of my weird slow chokes. I can push his face away, because he can't roll that way because I have his leg. He can't go this way if I push his face. He has nowhere to go. This is another seven second, eight, nine second choke. He'll pass out. Even though this artery's open, if I cut this one off, what is that? A no. Uh, it's it's pressure. It's this is a uh, Dan the Wolfman weirdo thing. This is straight pressure. Because I realized if I don't have this arm, he can roll out. But I'm literally cutting off. I'll suck this up and be nice and high. Get that deep behind the elbow. Because what? How he escapes is people are losing the elbow. And he pulls that elbow out. Yeah. So you got to try and get deep. We'll go on your forehead if you need to. Boom, get deep behind that elbow. Now it's pinching. Yeah. Now I own it. So always get good position before you start hitting. Establish the position. So bam, bam, bam. That one was this. Mouse mother, that's half a choke. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Again, from top on a crucifix, let's just do this one, guys. Smother, top, put your hand here or here. Trap, top, wrist lock. 
as he starts to fish way out, he fish his hand up. No, that ain't gonna do it. Fish your hand the other way. That ain't gonna do it. Fish your hand up this way. <laughs> yes. That's called a roller lock, but you can grab this if you want. You can paint it to the ground, you can base it if you want. Me, I just go, whoop, and I hold it here. It's a roller lock, playing that stuff. You can go paint by numbers if you want to do paint by number one, number two, number three. If you're a beginner, that's fine. The trap here, smash. He starts, he wants to protect his face. I kill Kung Fu helps trap it. Kung Fu times that. Here. Here. Once you learn mechanics, you don't gotta always put stuff to the ground. You just know how to fast. Uh, and double wrist lock. And if you wanna have fun, step over. I love that one. Put your head here, neck crank him. Yeah. Okay, play with crucifix for a few minutes. Come on a crucifix.